As you know, the investment forum in Cote d'Ivoire will be held uh, from January 29 to February 1st in uh, Cote d'Ivoire. And uh, this event is really uh, something that started many years ago. In fact, the very first one took place in 1995. And uh, during this uh, first uh, investment forum in Cote d'Ivoire, uh, almost uh, 1,500 participants uh, attended this uh, event. And then in 1997, there was a second uh, forum where uh, we uh, received uh, almost 2,200 participants. And then in 1999, the forum uh, grew in, uh, in terms of attention, and uh, we uh, received almost 2,500 participants. So it really became a a, 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 an institution, uh, investor, everybody was expecting this uh, event to take place every two years. And then came uh, uh, 2000, then uh, with the crisis, the social and political crisis in Cote d'Ivoire. So for 14 years, there was no forum. So 2014 is really uh, a, a new beginning for the investment forum in Cote d'Ivoire. And uh, it is really something that uh, people have been uh, expecting. And uh, again, of course, it is a very good time really to, to start this, uh, uh, again, this institution and uh, to come to Cote d'Ivoire to invest. Several reasons. I think the Prime Minister has uh, indicated most of them. The political situation, which is quite normalized now. The Prime Minister has spoken about the security situation, which is normal. As you know, he said the ADB is coming back to Cote d'Ivoire. The uh, economic uh, performance, very strong uh, growth, 9% average during the last two years and expected 10% next year. Several uh, reforms, strong reform, which really aim uh, uh, to really strengthen the economy, increase competitiveness, liberalize further the economy, streamline uh, administrative processes, and uh, attract foreign direct investment. And then there is a uh, regional dimension, as uh, he indicated. Cote d'Ivoire is a member of the WAMU country. It's a 100 million uh, economic union. It's really the most achieved form of uh, uh, economic union with a, common, uh, with a custom union and a common currency. Cote d'Ivoire is also a member of ECOWAS, so 300 million uh, people, so it's a very large uh, market. And uh, really to focus on this regional aspect uh, for the forum, uh, it was indicated that uh, Nigeria will attend at the highest level. The vice president will be there. In Ghana, the, the vice president also will be there. Senegal and Burkina will be represented at the prime minister level. So the regional aspect is really the, the key. And this is why the topic, the theme of this forum uh, is really how to leverage private sector to strengthen and enhance regional integration. So we will have several topics during this forum. The first one is really agribusiness. I think there was a question on agribusiness. Cote d'Ivoire uh, industrial sector is essentially two-third agribusiness. So there will be a focus on agribusiness. The second one will be on uh, uh, infrastructure, energy, transport, and so on, and PPPs. So there will be a focus on that. The third one will be on uh, sustainable development. The fourth topic will be on uh, renewable, renewable energy. And the last one will be on, um, on small and medium-sized uh, enterprises. We have the honor at this uh, investment forum to have the managing director of the IMF, which will participate through video. Uh, she will have the opportunity to address to the participant during this forum. And we will also have the privilege to have uh, several senior staff, senior management of uh, the World Bank uh, Group, uh, the World Bank, IFC, which is uh, hosting this event uh, today, MIGA, ADB, the African Development Bank, IDB, and uh, so on. And uh, as you know, to prepare this forum, we have been on the road. Two weeks ago, the Prime Minister was in Canada to really uh, promote this forum at the 30th, the 30th uh, Africa uh, Forum. Today, uh, owing to IFC, we have this uh, event here, and uh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank IFC. 
And uh, in two weeks' time, we'll have the opportunity to promote this event again in uh, London with the help of the uh, British uh, government. So it is really a very good time to go to Cote d'Ivoire. I think uh, there will be the opportunity to discuss, have a lot of uh, business contact, B2B, and also to do some tourism. And uh, this will be the opportunity for many to really discover the tourism of Cote d'Ivoire, the rich, diversified cultural asset, and enjoy the food of Cote d'Ivoire. So see you in Abidjan in 2014. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.